All right, here's a question for you. Do you like historical monuments? You know, I travel around the country and I like to stop when I see a historical monument or a landmark and I like to read about it. And it's no exception here in Abilene, Texas. I have been uh, enjoying this particular piece uh, known as uh, Jacob's Ladder. And uh, it depicts a particular time in the Bible when a man was on the run uh, in fear for his life, away from home, away from family, away from everything that he'd ever known, away from security. And in the middle of the, of the night, in the middle of nowhere, he encounters God at a place you would not expect it because it wasn't a temple, it wasn't a place of worship. In fact, all he had to, to sleep on that night was a rock on the ground. And in the middle of the night, God appears to him and he shows him this vision of angels going up and down on a ladder all the way up into heaven. And he speaks to him. And he reminds him that he is with him and that he is not alone. And he's with him just like he was with his father and with his father's father. And when Jacob woke up, he was in complete awe. Surely God was here and I didn't even know it, he said. And he called the name of that place Bethel, the house of God. And he said, this is none other than the gate of God. And I'm sure that uh, changed his perspective as he continued to move forward. And you know, that's a message that God has, has uh, for all of us. And that's a message that God has uh, for me as well. And there have been times in my life when I felt I was alone, but I need to be reminded that uh, God is with me. And it continues to be with me, just like he was with uh, Jacob. And Jesus wanted me to know that as well. And you know, as I was looking around uh, at this particular sculpture, um, I was reminded of that when somebody pointed one place in the sculpture out to me. And uh, there is a particular place, if you stand with just the right perspective, you can see it. Um, Jesus himself is the gate of God. And Jesus is our access to God. Angels go up and down, not on some arbitrary ladder, but on Jesus himself. And we can find our way to God through Jesus. And that's what the cross was all about. The cross is our gate to heaven. And that's why Jesus died on the cross for me. That's why he died on the cross for you. That's why he died on the cross for everyone, to provide a way to God. And so as I look at this, and I'm reminded of this, and I'm looking at, oh, I'm looking at the hollow space there, which reminds me that the tomb was empty. When he died on the cross, he didn't stay dead. He rose up from the grave. And all of us can have the same hope of uh, abundant life here and in the life to come. Now that's something to be encouraged by.